Hello, it's January 14th, 2021, and you've reached and are at Thoughts from the Word. Well, hello. Today we want to take just a brief look at a couple verses from the book of Psalms, chapter 99. So if you have your Bibles, turn there. Psalm 99, we're going to look at verses 1 through 3. Hear the word of the Lord. The Lord reigns. Let the peoples tremble. He sits enthroned upon the cherubim. Let the earth quake. The Lord is great in Zion. He exalt, is exalted over all the peoples. Let them praise your great and awesome name. Holy is he. The grass withers and the flower fades, but the word of our Lord endures forever. Amen and amen. Well, as we read this psalm, it begins by focusing us on the holiness of God. And as we talk about holiness, we're talking about uh, purity, uh, and a purity in such that there is absolutely no sin, nothing that is contrary to God. The call is for us to remember that God reigns, and that should cause us to tremble, not for fear of God as in, I'm afraid of uh, of getting hurt, but a fear of God in the sense of, I'm afraid of not being included in, not being a part of the family, not being there. He sits enthroned on high and has all power, uh, and he is great and to be exalted, lifted up over all the nations. We are to praise his great and holy name because he is holy and pure. As you go through this day, uh, let me ask you, are you thinking about God and all of his holiness? Are you seeking to be holy? As the scriptures say, be holy for I am holy. Are you seeking to be holy because of his holiness? Are you trembling uh, spiritually, maybe even physically, because, of, uh, because you fear not being with God? God desires our worship above all things. Our our, our chief end is to glorify God and to enjoy Him forever, and we do so through the exaltation and the worship of God. Are you lifting up His name today? Are you exalting Him? Are you praising Him because He is your God? That uh, should be our primary task as we go about the day today. Let's hear uh, from the Valley of Vision. Uh, King of glory, divine majesty. Every perfection adorns thy nature and sustains thy throne. The heavens and earth are thine, the world is thine in its fullness. The power created the universe from nothing. Thy wisdom has managed all its multiple concerns, presiding over nations, families, individuals. Thy goodness is boundless. All creatures wait on thee, are supplied by thee, are satisfied in thee. How precious are the thoughts of thy mercy and grace! How excellent thy loving kindness that draws men to thee. Teach us to place our happiness in thee, the blessed God, never seeking life among the dead things of earth, or asking for that which satisfies the deluded. May we prize the light of thy smile, implore the joy of thy salvation, find our heaven in thee. Thou hast attended to our happiness more than we can do. Though we are fallen creatures, thou hast not neglected us. In love and pity thou hast provided us a Savior. Apply this redemption to our hearts by justifying our persons and sanctifying our natures. We confess our transgressions. Have mercy on us. We are weary. Give us rest. Ignorant. Make us wise unto salvation. Helpless. Let thy strength be made perfect in our weakness. Poor and needy. Bless us with Christ's unsearchable riches perplexed and tempted. Let us travel on unchecked, undismayed, knowing that thou hast said, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. Blessed be thy name. Amen and amen. Let's uh, close our brief time together now with a, a word of prayer. Almighty God and Father, we thank you that you are exalted on high that you are the King of kings and the Lord of lords, that you are the holy God. And as we tremble to come before you, we tremble uh, for fear of being without you. But at the same time, we rejoice that we have been numbered among your family, among your children. 
that you have called us to be your people, and that you have made us your treasured possession. Oh God, be at work in us to make us more and more like you. Increase our faith. Give us your strength, your peace, your comfort, your guidance. And Father, I pray that you would be with each one watching today, that they would know uh, your presence with them, and that they would be used by you in the lives of those around them. Lord, be glorified in us, we pray. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Well, thank you for joining us today for Thoughts from the Word. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow, and may God bless you.